After Sandra accused Marcus of molesting her young daughters, she moved the children out of the house and contacted the authorities. And then more accusations emerged that Marcus had shown his daughters porn. The truth came to light on my stage, but the consequences took a little longer. Take a look at a clip and stay tuned for an update. I'm being accused of touching my daughter sexually in a manner that no one is supposed to be doing. It was like, my daughter told me that you touched her. I was like, I was shocked, you know what I'm saying? Like, why is you coming at me like this? I looked back there at my daughter and I asked her, I said, what's going on? And both of them just put their head down. And I asked uh, my wife, I said, what's going on? You need to talk to me, tell me something. My wife was like, I have to believe my child. I hope we get to the bottom of this situation and the truth comes out. I was taking my kids to school and my daughter, she was being mean to her brother. And I was telling her, I was like, you know, you need to stop being mean to him. Like, where's this attitude coming from? Y'all are your siblings. Y'all shouldn't fight like this. And she was like, well, mama, if I had the courage to do something that I need to do, then my attitude would be gone. And I was like, courage, baby, what do you, what do you need courage for? And she said, well, mama, daddy's been touching me and my sister. And I said, what? What do you mean? And she was like, yes, mama, daddy's been touching me and my sister. And I said, are you sure it was daddy? Like, it wasn't nobody else. I was like, it couldn't be daddy. Are you sure? And she was like, yes, ma'am, I'm sure. And I said, well, how was he touching you? Like, was it in a playful way? Like, you know, like, you know, when he picks y'all up, you know, did he brush against, you know, your, your boobs or anything like that? And she was like, no, mama, it wasn't in a playful way. It was in a nasty way. And I said, um, so like, did he like pull your pants down? Like what happened? And she said, well, yeah, he, he pulled our pants down and he, you know, and I said, I said, by that time I was just crying. I just didn't know what to do. And I was like, um, well, why y'all didn't tell me sooner? Like when, when did this happen? She said, well, we didn't tell you sooner because Daddy said that he would whoop us if we told anybody. So I calmed down and I just went straight to the police station and I told them about what happened. And now we're going through CPS. I moved the kids out the house. We left. We haven't been at home. I just want to know why we, why would he do this? Did you ask him why he did this? I confronted him. And at that time, I'm like, okay, yeah, you wouldn't do anything to hurt your kids, but why would they say this to me? They said this to me, so as a mother, I'm gonna believe my kids. I'm not gonna believe nothing you say, because what you say does not matter. <laughs> what my kids say is what matters. Now, you understand the kids always said that he was watching porn with them? Yes, um, she said that, she was like, wondering, like, is this okay? Like, is, um, she said that she asked him, should daddies and daughters be doing this? And he's supposed to have to show her a porn of daddy and daughter, daddy and daughter porn. And I was like, you just gotta be somebody just so sick in the head just to, just to, to, to do something like this. I can't think of anybody that would find pleasure of doing something like this to a child. I would never do this to my kids. How could you? They say you did. They said you did this. I would never do this to my kids. I've been in y'all life on and off for 13 years, Sandra. I have never ever thought, even thought of nothing like that. Other than you actually doing it, what other explanation that can there be? I don't know, Steve. Do you do drugs? I used to. No, I'm saying now, since you got out of prison. No, sir, I was smoking weed, but I stopped. Do you drink? I do. To excess? Yeah. Okay. So when you're sometimes in a drunken state, could you do things that no, you shouldn't be doing? No, Steve, uh, no. Is it hard for you not to see your kids? It's so hard, man. It's already, I was already without them for so long. Like, I wouldn't even jeopardize that to lose them again. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll say this. Um, it's almost beyond the realm of comprehension that as a parent, we would cause so much damage to our own children that you would, anybody would do this to their own children. Um, because it's hard for all of us to go back in our minds and think about when we were children 
and the things that scared us or the, the safety that we sought from our parents, the, the feeling of comfort of, I'm supposed of to be there protect protecting them. And for a dad to then violate that trust, I, I don't know how you ever recover from that, how you would ever you can, repair the damage. You can, you gotta live with that for the rest of your life. You gotta... is, there, is there anything that maybe you made a mistake? No, Steve, no. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't imagine that you're gonna pass. What if he fails? If he fails, I'm gonna t take all this to the authorities. Like, he has to go to prison. He has to go do his time. He, Cause you don't get away with doing that to a kid. Nobody that does that to a kid should be free. <laughs> Nobody. Marcus came here and he took a lie detector test. He's been accused of molesting uh, his daughters and watching uh, pornographic uh, tapes with, with them or images. Came here and we asked him, did you ever touch either of your daughters for your own sexual pleasure? You answered no. Did you ever show either of your daughters any pornographic images. You answered no, and the results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Marcus did not tell the truth. You said my kid! Baby, come on, you man. You did this! You know I wouldn't do this. Oh, God. You know I wouldn't do this, man. man. This is wrong, man. I did not do this. Why would you do this. do this to your you own kids? You know I wouldn't kids. do this to my own kids, Why? Sandra. Obviously you did the test that you did. How could you? You, you the one who wanted to call the show to prove your innocence. Exactly. So why would I even do that? You said you did. Everybody born me and and, and, and and you it think that I'm really doing did. this? Come on, to my your own kids. Your daughter said you did. The test kids. said you did. You did. Man, I'm. T you man, did. Look out. Sandra, why you would I did. even bring myself on, on TV to embarrass because myself? maybe you thought that you would somehow pass the test. You how can, did How can, how can I try to uh, think that I was going to do it, that? Man. I don't even want to talk to you, man. Get out of my face, man. I <laughs> do want to bring Dan out right now. <laughs> um, you know, Dan, with this story, to me, it's kind of a slam dunk. So, Steve, he fails this test. He clearly fails this test. And we're going to go to the charts to show it. I got to tell you something. I think that the alcohol is the issue with Marcus. Marcus admitted it not only on stage, but in the polygraph room, that he drinks every day in excess since he was released from prison, which was in October. Sometimes he blacks out. Now, before you get to that blackout period, I don't got to tell you that, you know, you do stupid stuff. And I think Marcus feels a lot of guilt and a lot of remorse and perhaps came here to be exposed because he was scared of saying that he was the one that did it. So let, let me show you the chart so you guys can see what I see. So here we're looking at the green line, which is very indicative, and we see a dramatic reaction to the question where he's asked about sexually touching the kids. There's also a rise in his cardio activity. So as a polygraph examiner, this would be deception indicated. Once again, Steve, I think that he has an alcohol problem, and the alcohol is what caused him to do this. Thanks, man. Thank no you. No matter how much you drink. Marcus. No matter how much you drink. I don't care. I'm laying in the bed with you, so you just get out of the bed with me and go in there and want to fondle with some kids. I'm not trying to How fondle with you? no kids, man. I don't want to hear nothing man, you, you don't have to hear. Well, you don't have to hear. You okay? are, but you you are guilty. You I are am guilty. not guilty. Honestly, I would never are. touch my Honestly, kids. Honestly, you are. I would never touch my you kids. Did. I did you not. Did. I did not. You did. So you got to still sit here and lie? I did not touch you my kids. You're lying. How can you just continue to lie? Sandra, I did not touch my kids. You're lying. I did not. I, you got a full-grown woman right here, and you touch kids? Kids? <laughs> Yo kids is that? Yo kids. Yo kids is you supposed to protect. You supposed to protect them. You you're supposed to protect them from men like you. But you are that man. You are that man. Sandra did everything right as a mother. She did not hesitate to contact the police and she fought fiercely to protect her children from any further harm. And as of this taping, Marcus has been charged with two counts of indecency with the child, sexual contact. The authorities have contacted my staff and we are helping them with their investigation.